everybody. It's good to be in his house again. I said it's good to be in his house again. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. Scripture says this. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. So right now, let's just thank him for all that he is, all that he's been, all that he's bringing us through, brought us through, all that he will take us through tomorrow. Let's just give him our thanks. I will enter your gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. But I'm also going to enter your courts with praise. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You're faithful. You're good always. You're faithful. All throughout my history Your faithfulness has walked beside me The winter storms made way for spring And every season from where I'm standing I see the evidence your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. Help me remember. But fear will leave Yes, it will You lead my heart to victory You are my strength And you always will be I see the evidence of your goodness All over my life All over my life Promises in fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. To see the cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sin rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. To see the cross, the empty grave, the evidence. Good. 
Before the Lamb of God and see you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Night, 
night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day let incense arise oh day and
scripture out of Psalm 141. Because I want you to understand these are not just words that were made up. These are words that come right out of scripture. And we're going to keep worshiping, but you can sit for a minute. These are words that come right out of scripture, out of Psalm 141.2. Maybe this is your prayer today. Oh Lord, I am calling to you. Please hurry. You ever felt like that? Please hurry. Please hurry. Listen when I cry to you for help. Oh, God, listen. Are you listening? I can't tell if you're listening right now. But what does the next verse say? Accept my prayer as incense offered to you. Literally, the prayers coming off of our lips are like incense. He's like, oh, I smell my kids. I smell my kids, they're talking to me, they're calling out to me. I smell them. It's a sweet fragrance. He wants you to call out to him. He wants you to cry out to him. He's not put off by you. I don't care how many times you've asked. I don't care how many times you've called on him. He's not growing impatient. He's not growing weary of you. He says, oh, I smell my kids. They're calling out for me. They want me. They need my help. And then it says, I accept my prayer as incense offered to you and my upraised hands as an evening offering. I just want to say, if you don't have any words, if you've run out of words, if all you have is tears, if all you have is barely being able to breathe, you can lift up your hands as an evening offering, and he accepts that. He says, ah, my kids are bringing me offerings. My kids are praising me. My kids are depending on me. Kids are looking looking for me. They're calling out my name. I like that. I'm going to go to them. I'm going to assist them. They need me. They want me. It says that those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It says when we cry to him, he answers us. So can we take a minute? Close your eyes. If you need him today like you've never needed him before, or if you just say, I want to offer an offering to you, can you just raise your hands? He says, oh, look at my kids. They're calling out for me. They're they're worshiping me. They love me, and I want to come, and I want to meet their every need. I want to satisfy the deepest desires of their hearts. It's a fragrance to me. It says, says, draw nigh unto him, and he will draw nigh unto you. This is one of the ways we do that. Day and night, let incense arise. Let uplifted hands go up. Let prayers go up. He's not wearied by you. He's not tired of your cries. He says, I see you. I hear you. I am working on your behalf. I am working all things together for your good because I love you, and you love me, and we are in relationship. We are in covenant with one another. Thank you. Thank you for giving me an offering of praise. 
Thank you for giving me an offering of worship. Thank you for thanking me and thank you for asking me. Thank you for your prayers. I receive that. I smell that. Lord, we thank you for this incredible privilege we have to come into your presence, to draw boldly to the throne of God. You don't push us away. You don't push us away. You let us come boldly. Thank you, Lord. and generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. And all who've gone before us and all who will believe will sing the song of ages to the Lamb. Your name is the highest. Your name the greatest your name it stands above them all all thrones and dominions all powers and positions your name it stands above them all and the angels cry holy all creation cry Holy, you are lifted high. Holy, holy forever. If you've been forgiven, and if you've been redeemed, sing the song forever. song forever to the man. We'll sing the song forever and David and the angels cry. Holy, all creation cry.
holy forever holy Just right now, just lift your voice. And just say, you're holy. You're holy. You're holy. It's the song they're singing right now around the throne. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We sing holy. Oh, we sing holy, holy. We sing holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy.
want you to feel this right now. What's happening in this space? We're just repeating holy. That's it. We're just looping this place that we're in and saying, you're holy. You're holy. You're holy. And it may seem like, why do they sing that over and over and over and over again? Because he is holy. You are holy. And there's something about joining with heaven and what heaven is saying right now that causes us to be in sync and in synchronicity with what heaven is doing, how heaven is functioning. So, Father, right now, we once again, we just say, you are holy. 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 You are worthy. holy you are holy
There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is up. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. I've tasted and seen. Sweetest of love, when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. In your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come fly.
Holy Spirit, we need more of your spirit. Come flood this place. Fill us up, God. Fill us up, fill us oh. up. So we're overflowing with your presence. Fill us up, fill us up. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Is that not the cry of our hearts? Just let us become more aware of your presence and experience the glory of your goodness. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your goodness. And thank you for your glory.